<laughs> Natural build. <laughs> Stupid. Welcome, Welcome back. Welcome to another episode of, of Final Fantasy XIV in this Shadow Bringers. Shadow Bringers? I said Shadow, but I said it weird. Shadow Bringers. <laughs> Shuplo blingers. Shuplo blingers. I don't like this name at all. Neither do I. We I don't just know said it, it first. Because uh, I thought you said it, so I guess it's my fault. I guess. The Derek. We're back at the Derek. Hey, it's that pinecone you saw again. Yeah. They're all over the place. <sighs> Where is Halric? Is he going to turn into a Sin Eater? Oh, jeez. Hey, it's a Reese color. Of a pre of enemies we've seen before. Forgiving folly. What's folly mean, Tyler? Like folly usually means mistake. mistake. Yeah. Wow, you're a forgiven mistake. Like we forgive you that you're a mistake. That's brutal. You die. Kaboosh. All the way up there. You're, you're foul. <laughs> okay, Tyler. So Don't call me foul. Tomorrow, what's your schedule? Stream from 9 to 11 and then nothing. You're going to play Book of Mario and you're going to play Mario Kart Wii. Not on stream. Yes, on stream. No. It's one of the side quests for your Dark Souls 1 run. Oh. Come on, finish, finish, finish! Yes! <laughs> I almost got interrupted. Well, I think right after the story, you'll be hit. No, you can't get hit during cutscenes. You're invincible. No, I'm saying right after, though. Oh, well, that's fine. Any sign of him? No. No luck, then. But he surely can't have gone far. We should keep looking. The Sin Eaters are out in force, and if we don't find him soon, you can be sure they will. She's right. Sin Eaters. What if he's already transformed? Okay, this Sin Eater is pretty cool looking. Whoa, that's probably a high rank one or something. Did you see the size of that thing? It must be one of the nasty ones. Wherever it's going, it can only mean trouble. After it! Okay, let's kill it. She's short. A cannon or something. Just <laughs> shoot a cannon and blow up that Sin Eater. Oh damn! Someone's got freaking fighters. That was pretty sick. <gasps> was she just stabbed? <gasps> She's gonna become a sin eater then, right? Tessling, no! But Tyler, I thought the light was good. No, not in this world. That's why it's so cool. Hmm, <laughs> you did. <laughs> you are dead. Except for you, right? Mother. Mother. I... Tyler, what's happening? She's gonna become a sin eater. They already explained this to us. No, Tyler. Light's supposed to be good. Ew. Just a little bit creepy. Uh. She formed a cocoon just to give birth out of it. 
the transformation. What's the point of the cocoon if you're just gonna instantaneously? She has to transform inside it, I guess. <gasps> oh crap, she became another high level one. Oh, no, no never mind. that's the one that stabbed her. She became a low level Whoa, one. Whoa, she looks creepy. Uh, Bye! How are you able to fly with half your wing missing? Because she's just that kind of cool bird. Why isn't it attacking? Ew, that was ugly to watch, Tyler. It was. Hello, dead. <laughs> that bronze sword, Brand's favorite Fire Emblem weapon, gone to rust. Bronze swords are sucky. You know what bronze swords do in the in those games? No matter what your ability is for crit, it uh, literally you can't, oh, yeah, has you can't a crit. thing instead that just turns off crit. Even you're if right. you're like a perfected freaking sword master with yeah, I forgot like, that was a crit thing. skills put on. But that they have like eight hundred thousand durability. Like they last for a long time because they're I so think weak. They do. And they have really good accuracy because they're so weak. All right, speak with Halric. He's not going to say anything. You're not going to say a dang old word. We just witnessed something disgusting. Hey, Halric is unresponsive as ever. Thanks, Halric. You gave me a the nectarine. Tears on the sand. Well, Tyler, now you know what it looks like to transform into a Sin Eater. If I actually saw you transform into one in real life, I would f I would never see you again or even talk to your family. I would freak out. I know you would. Oh, my God. Yeah. Seeing you throw up and then your eyes... <laughs> whatever happened to her? Your eyes shoot out light and then your skin yeah. melts off. And then you go into a cocoon of feathers. And your eyes turn pure These are white. like Bayonetta freaking level of angels. Oh, yeah? Have you seen any of the angels in that game? Are they just mean? They're just, yeah. We should play Bayonetta 2. It's way better than number 1. Ah, uh, do you own it? Because I don't. Yes, I do. On Switch. On the Switch! Another one of Wii's games transferred over. I mean, we use. We you. I have Bayonetta 2, and it comes with a download code for 1, so I have both, but I like 2 way better. You like 2 because the it's on the Wii is, U. The fighting runs it's smoother. And there's no crappy quick time events that give you an automatic game over if you fail them. I hate that when games do that. Oh, look at this button prompt when you weren't ready for it. Oh, crap, you missed it because it was like 0.2 seconds. Game over. Game over. I never knew that. I don't know anything about Bayonetta. I hate those. That's only Bayonetta 1. They better not bring it back for 3. She's sad about what she... Look at all this, this damn light. Building without cease. How do you get rid of it? Well, that's what I'm here for, Tyler, right? Well, f we should return to the Crystarium. She's coming back with me. That's Yay! Nice. Whatever. They doubt us. Man, isn't that so anime? Protagonist wishes to do something that all characters doubt them for and think is impossible. Does it anyways. They regret their stu their stupidity and... Yeah, you actually did it after all. Why are they listing him as level 72? I don't know, actually. I'm a level 72 NPC that kills mobs if they get too close. Okay, cool, Some I guess. Some games do that. Huh? Some games do do that. Yeah, this one does. Okay, we gotta we have a long walk to go, but we can enjoy the music once we leave. That guy's hair is atrocious. Look, I like how I, you know what I like in video games when they're huge and stuff, and you see things from far away, and you you can actually go to that. That's yeah. why I like Breath of the Wild a lot. Yeah. If you see something from really far away, you can actually go there. Yes. This game has it too. 
I really like games that do that. It, yeah, it makes it, the game feel huge. Yeah, it's it's always sad when it's like, oh, look at that thing. and oh, you can't go there. Look at that cool oh, dragon just, oh, thing. Oh, it's just on background, the, or it's blocked by a wall or that, something. What's the cool dragon looking thing on the first planet <laughs> in Fallen Order? Yes, it looks like you can. You want to go there and see it, but no. Nope. Nope. Lame. It's actually really well modeled because she says did a boundary break of that and he went right up to it. That's, so it looked like that's it was why this meant this to game be... and Breath of the Wild are so cool in Grand Theft Auto. Shadow the Colossus. Dark Souls for the most part. Hello. Hello. I couldn't stay a moment longer. Stupid train. She's still crying, Tyler. She's known that woman for like a year. Yeah. That train's heading straight for your house. Beep beep. Trying to see if the train was gonna get picked up. Uh, it doesn't show that it is, but we'll find out once I uh start editing. We need to talk to the XR about how we're gonna wipe out the Sin Eaters. Okay, let's go talk to the talk to Alize in the Ocular, and that'll be the end of the session. And Tyler can finally take a break. Ocular. No, is it ocular? No, it's ocular. Yeah. Okay. You're just pulling a goof. Yeah. That's the best See, goof Tyler, in the world to just right now in the world. mispronounce something. No. See, in the world right now, it's two in the morning, two twenty in the morning, but. It is bright it as ever. It looks like two in the afternoon. I know. It's always gonna look like day. Daytime for a hundred years straight. That's sad. Would that ever bother you? Yeah. If the the sun like literally never set and it could never have overcast. Yeah. Dude, you know that the planet would just like heat up nonstop. No, it would. Okay, well let's say it would still spin, but somehow in a weird way it would still have infinite sunlight you know I'm saying that that would freaking the world would freaking get so hot because it would never catch a break yeah no nighttime no shade it's like going for tanning out on the beach but you never leave yep you're eventually just gonna you're, you're gonna get die burns you get sin, can sin cancer skin cancer too all right, in the next episode, we're going to do the Alphano route. Let's talk to Hooray, him. Hooray! Yay! <laughs>